Now, the final teaching in this chapter of skill development is called the Awareness Funnel. The Awareness Funnel is essentially a system of five different internal principles. I like to think of it as an internal martial art. And we apply these five internal principles to any activity or skill or practice that we are engaging in. Now with the awareness funnel, some aspects of this are similar to the previous topics in this chapter, but the awareness funnel delivers them in a different way. It delivers these five principles in a way that they all flow on from one another. They're a very cohesive model. And before I tell you these five principles, I want to say I first heard of these principles from a pickup coach named James Marshall. Um, he was talking about these principles in the context of seduction and game, but I realized that these principles can be applied to any area of life or any practice. And I really resonate with these principles. I use them a lot. So that's why I want to share them and give my own spin on them. So let's start with an overview of what these five principles are within the awareness funnel. So the first principle is awareness slash mindfulness. That's where it all starts because it's like a funnel, right? It's a funnel. It all starts with awareness and mindfulness. So what is awareness and mindfulness? It's essentially the ability to observe. The ability to hold your focus on a predetermined point. That is what awareness is. It is also the ability to notice when your mind wandered or you got distracted and then to bring that focus back to the predetermined point. So this focus may include a range of things. For the martial artist, perhaps the focus for this session is your back foot. So that's the point of focus. That's where the awareness is. If you are doing archery, maybe the awareness is on your rear shoulder as you do it. It's very important to be able to hold your attention to a chosen place and to observe that place and to make the alterations where necessary. So that's the first key point uh, and the first yeah, key part of the awareness funnel. It is awareness and mindfulness. The second part of the awareness funnel is intention. So whether you are building a house or talking to a really hot girl trying to uh, connect more with her, you want to be transmitting a clear idea of what your intentions are. You want to have a clear idea of what you are doing and why you are doing it. What is the goal here? What are the methods here? What are you trying to achieve? What are you trying to explore? It's important to have clear intention to what you are doing. So, so far we have awareness slash mindfulness and intention. The next one is emotion. So when we are practicing a certain craft, there's a whole range of different emotional experiences that we could be having. Some emotions are really positive and beneficial to our performance. Some emotions are quite the opposite. They can corrupt our performance. So, and also some activities also require very minimal emotion. You want to have less emphasis on emotion and more emphasis on pure logic and intellect. So, how can we create the emotions that are most optimal to our practice at that time? Let's say that we are at a party or in a social setting and we encounter an emotion of shyness. The first step to uh, changing the emotion is first recognizing what emotion you have. So recognizing, okay, my current emotion is this. Then the second step is deciding which emotion you would prefer to feel. So in this case, if you're feeling shyness at a party, the emotions you may want to feel may include love and appreciation, confidence, enthusiasm, curiosity, fun, humor. There's more positive emotions that you wish to be feeling. Then once you've decided what emotion you want to feel, 
You then take actions which are aligned with that emotion. You take actions which will likely induce your desired emotion. In this case, the actions might be going and talking to more people, making a few jokes with some people, etc. So that was the third part of the awareness funnel. It's the emotion you're experiencing. The fourth part of the awareness funnel, number four, is pressure and release. So pressure refers to a heightened amount of effort, energy, engagement, focus. It's essentially putting in more effort and trying harder. So we do that for a while and then release refers to um, a sense of allowing, a sense of relaxation, surrender, peace and tranquility like a sort of emptying and a hollowing out and easefulness that is release it's very much like relaxation so the idea here is that we want to be applying pressure on ourselves applying pressure to go forward go to that next level in the craft remember finding the sweet spot challenging ourselves pushing the limits exploring beyond the limits pressure but then after you apply pressure, you want to release and just absorb, be at ease and be really satisfied with your efforts. You need to have that time to be satisfied with your efforts and just take it all in, you know. But then if you dwell in a relaxed state for a very long time, you may start to get a bit agitated or uh not at ease or you may become a bit bored at which point it's time to choose your next focus choose your next action and then apply pressure again so life is all about applying pressure onto yourself putting pressure of energy and focus onto a certain point then releasing then pressure again then releasing and it's about doing that dance, that ebb and flow. So that was the fourth part of the awareness funnel. The fifth part is direct action. So all of these inner understandings and principles we've learned about, all that knowledge, it means nothing unless it is put into direct action. It is where the rubber meets the road. So let's uh, scan back over these five parts of the awareness funnel once more. And keep in mind, you can apply this to any activity that you wish. So the five parts were awareness slash mindfulness, knowing where your focus is, observing, awareness, then intention, clear intention, then emotion, what emotion do we want to feel? then pressure and release, applying pressure, then easing off, applying pressure, easing off, and then direct action. So what direct action are we actually taking here? That is the awareness funnel.